Hello, in this video we're going to be taking a look at the permalinks settings. So as usual I'm starting on my dashboard. I'm going to go ahead and hover over settings and then select permalinks. Now there's not a lot here but it is important and I'll just kind of cut to the punch uh, line here that uh, we're not actually asking you to change anything. But for the record we do want to explain what's going on here. What's going on here is uh, under common settings you have six different ways and then some optional ways down here to control what the URLs look like when people visit your website. Now, um, as you can see here, uh, for the videos that we're using here in this test implementation, my URLs are going to be based on this IP address. In your case, it's going to say something like libraries.any.gov slash library name slash and then this bunch of different stuff on the end here. Now, what this should be set at for you by default is day and name. We've set that up uh, quite intentionally. If it doesn't, please take a moment right now to change this to day and name. And that way, what's going to happen is, is as people are clicking through your website, they're going to see your basic URL, libraries.anita.gov slash library name. And then the URL is going to be based on the year, the month, the day, and the title of the content that you are creating on your website, uh, whether in most cases is posts but sometimes also pages. The benefit to doing it this way is basically what's called search engine optimization or SEO. The more ways you have kind of your content and indicators in your URL, the better things are going to show up in Google. If your URL just ends with something like P equals 123, to Google that doesn't really mean anything. Okay? But if you've titled your post, um, you know, Stephen King is coming to the library, then Stephen King is coming to the library is going to show up in the, in the URL of that post, not just in the title of that post, and that gives you kind of extra Google juice. Okay? There are reasons to use these other options here, but really we would like everybody to use this day and name format. It kind of keeps some consistency, and it does work best for you in the long run when it comes to search engines. There's this optional area down here at the bottom for category base and tag base. We'll talk about categories and tags when we get to the video about uh, creating posts and creating other content from your website. But again, kind of the, how we've got things set up, the defaults work. There's no reason to put any information in here. So assuming that day and name is your current choice and the category base and tag base are empty, there's absolutely nothing you need to do here. If day and name is not what your setting is right now, please take this moment, change it to day and name, and then go ahead and click that save changes down at the bottom to make that stick. And that's all there is to this screen. Thanks for watching.